Hello, there is a program I use that's free and I use it all the time to keep the fixed ratio. And if you're wondering why in the world would I need to use this program called paint.net is because Facebook, Google, Microsoft, if you want to put in a headshot or a profile picture of yourself, they all have the different width and height that you need. So Facebook, as an example, may want 225 by 175. Google may want 250 by 185. So this program will maintain the fixed ratio when you resize an image. So here I go from scratch. I've already installed paint.net and at the end of the video I'll show you where you get it from. Uh, employers could also use this for their employee profile pictures. So if you want to open up an image, just go to open, find an image and double click. And that'll open the image. So now I have two images open. I'm going to start off with this one. So I'm going to do this twice. The first time I'll just go in a little more detail and go a little bit slower. So let's say that this one needs to be 485 by 275. Well, if I go to the word image and I go to resize, you can see the original dimensions of this image. Now, the problem is this. If I go make it 485 right here, I need to make the height 275, but it goes to 596. So it's not working. If I click OK, that's not any good. I'm going to do an undo. And here's what I do not want you to do. I went back to image resize. If you turn off the maintain aspect ratio and go 485, 275. I'm going to pull this to the left so you can see what happens. When I click OK, watch, the image will get distorted. So that's no good. Edit, undo. So here's the trick. That when you download paint.net, there's a lot of menus that are floating around. Example over to the right is history, colors. I don't care about those. The only one I care about is tools. And if by chance you close it, you can open it up here in the top right corner, right there. The only icon I care about is that very first one in the top left, the rectangle. So if when you click it, it now says the word tool here and going across, it will say normal by default. You're going to change it to fix ratio. You're going to type in 485. 275 and then you're going to grab the mouse and you're just going to draw obviously there's the top of Gracie's head so I'm going to draw I'm just eyeing it that's a little off I'm going to just draw it again that looks better go to the word image and you want to do a crop to selection the image is actually still really large. Image resize, just to show it to you. But when you go to image resize, make sure maintain aspect ratio is on. Because we said it needs to be 485. And look, the height immediately went to 275. I could change the resolution. 96 is probably the default in here. Just highlight it, type in whatever you want. I'm going to leave it at 96 though. Click OK. Now I've got an image that is 485 by 275. So that was example one. If you needed to make this black and white, by the way, that would be adjustments, black and white. I'm going to undo that. Let's do example two. Let's say that we need a LinkedIn profile. Let's use a different picture though. This one needs to be 150 by 150. Keep this one simple. Same exact steps. Image, resize. I just want to see what it is to begin with. Just so you know this, if the width and the height were exactly the same and you needed 150 by 150, you could leave maintain aspect ratio checked and just type in 150. 
but they are different. So same steps. I've already clicked this once. Make sure it says fixed ratio. 150, 150, draw. Image, crop to selection. Image, resize, 150, 150. Change the resolution if you want to. Click OK. Make it black and white if you want to, but I want color. I would do a file, save as, and whatever your naming conventions are. To get paint.net, and I'm in version 4.1.4, which is the most recent. It's November 2018. Go to your favorite browser. There is the URL, getpaint.net. <clears throat> it is free if you click on License to Look. There are two places you can get it from. By the way, you can get it from the Microsoft Store. You can also download it. I'm just telling you what I do. I never click here. I always come up right here and click. And then there's if you want to get it from the store. The paid version will give you some updates. The free version, you have to go get the updates yourself. I would click this icon right here and then just download it. Thank you for your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a wonderful week.